him, mams. <laughs> okay, get that first. Get that first. Okay. There you go. See, that's what roommates should that's do. That's good, solid communication and constructive criticism. <laughs> Everybody. Hey, we look cool. I'm oh, Grace. So cool. <laughs> I'm Mamrie, and this might get ruled. Yeah, we're talking about going back to school, living situations, and respecting the rules of your housing situation. There's nothing cooler than respect. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, we're such dorks. I don't know. <laughs> total dorks. But you're still like really good friends with your college roommate. Yeah, I got um, just total lottery. I live with three girls in like a suite, so like two dorms connected by a bathroom, mm -hmm. and all of us were strangers, and then we lived together for the next four years. I'm literally going to one of their weddings in a week. Amazing. I officiated one of their weddings a couple years ago. Amazing. It worked. You really lucked out, but a lot of times people don't get that lucky. I became friends after I figured out like my good friend to live with on campus, so my first year it was just like not a bad living situation, just, you know, there was no connection. Didn't you go to a college where most people left on the weekends? It was very, very empty on the weekends. Very lonely, dark times. Let's move forward. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Look how cool she is. Oh, so cool. We don't oh, to talk about that. I'm making up for lost time. We asked you guys, what's the most awkward real life situations that happened with your college roommates? Yes. And we got some doozies. So much so that some of these are anonymous. Because they're still in this living situation with these people. The average cost of room and board is over $10,000. If you're gonna be spending so this much money on your living situation, you gotta have a good one. Mm -hmm. And they say that 40% of students live on campus, 40% mm -hmm. live off, and 20% live with their parents. The worst roommates. The worst roommates <laughs> of all. <laughs> well, we're gonna go through some of your responses and hopefully scare straight your roommates so that you can have a better situation. Mm -hmm. Get ready, we're aggressive and intimidated. Yeah, you can't spell roommate without team, which isn't really pertinent to this situation, yeah. but I just thought of it. Yeah. Ashley J says, <clears throat> I had a roommate who would never talk about stuff with me, just passive aggressively email me. Ooh. Like one time I was apparently turning off the TV wrong, so it was sleeping and not all the way off, so I got an email with a link to a site telling me how much money I was wasting. Whoa, what a passive aggressive bitch. Seriously, and when you're a roommate, like I bet they lived 10 feet away from each other. Yeah, and the problem gets solved much quicker with conversation. Yes, I agree. <laughs> Get at them, Grace. Yeah, well, they don't live with them anymore. She said they had a roommate. But still, you have a right to be angry. This is clearly festered for a while, so the one that's sending the passive-aggressive emails, be a man, you a know, woman. You know what I'd say? Hmm. The person who's sending the passive-aggressive emails is actually the one who's wasting energy. <gasps> Good job. <laughs> Okay, this is an anonymous one. Uh -oh. Here we go. Well, then let's also not show her picture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows. Didn't want to send this over Twitter in case my old roommate say, say it, but when I was in a dorm with said roommate, I wouldn't have class until 11 a.m. or later, and she had 7 a.m. classes. She would be Skyping with her boyfriend until 4 a.m., literally reading her essays out loud to him, and then set alarms, which she would sleep through starting at 6 a.m. and would go off every two minutes. I moved out after one semester. Whoa! Ooh. This is, makes me mad. Yep. <laughs> get him, mams. Uh, okay, get We're that first. Get that first. Okay. There you go. See, that's what roommates should that's do. That's good, solid communication and constructive criticism. Um, no one gives a shit about your boyfriend. Yeah. Like, you need to take that outside. Every dorm hall has a community room. You take the boyfriend to the community room, unless it gets nasty, and then you take it to the bathroom. <laughs> a foolproof system. <laughs> a truly foolproof system. Also, I have such a pet peeve when people read out loud what they're typing. Sorry to call you out, Hannah Hart, but Hannah Hart does this when she texts. She'll be like, and I am going to, and Grace and I are like, we're right there, yeah. we can hear you. And oh. that message is not being sent to us, so we don't need to proofread it for you. <laughs> exactly. Camden Thorngate, what a cool name. Whoa. You sound rich. Are you a knight? <laughs> <laughs> Says, there was an epidemic at the start of my freshman year of people pooping <laughs> on the floor of the communal bathroom. It happened so much in the first few weeks that we all got charged $5 because the mystery pooper never came forward. I don't understand people who want to anywhere but a toilet. I barely want to in there. What? <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> in public is oh, awful. Yeah. And then they're just like, no, I'll make it really awful? And this is, does this happen every year? Is this like 
a prank that is like annual? I don't get it. We got a bleep budget. We just went over it. Uh, we'll just, instead of bleeps, just make it fart noises. You know what I think? I think it was probably a male college student who was coming to mess with the girls oh. because he wanted to get them all like, riled up and fighting each other. Also, what a weird monetary amount to be charged <laughs> for this crime. Who would have to pay me a lot more than $5 to deal with that? Yeah, was this just an RA coming around being like, we can't figure it out, so all of you owe me five bucks. It's probably that RA. Whoever got that money, that's who was pooping on the floor. Yeah, so this just turned into a mystery solving. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, this is a big one. This also, a again, anonymous. Yes. My roommate's boyfriend lived in our dorm, single room, Yikes. with us for a month while he was looking for an apartment to live in at the University of South Carolina. Go Cox. This was an all girls dorm and he had to sneak in every day and night and all he would do is watch Canadian TV. I hated the moments when my roommate went to class and it was just the two of us hanging out. Also, my bed was lofted, made into a bunk bed and the futon was directly below me and they would on the futon while I was in my bed watching Netflix, taking naps during the day. All in all, not a bad roommate, but her boyfriend sucked. P.S. Love the show, love you guys so much. I'm a huge fan of the two of y'all since Daily Grace days, and I was stoked when I found out you were doing a channel together. Your team is incredible, you're killing it. Thank wow. you. Wow, I mean, you seem great. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm definitely on your side. But also, you got Netflix and chilled by association. That's so rude, that's not fair. Wow, and being in the loft bed, that was the first mistake, I'd yeah. say. And Canadian TV, who is this guy? Yeah, he was just down there watching Degrassi while his girlfriend went to class. I hope they both got herpes. One out of three people have something. I don't know the facts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you obviously have great taste, as we can see. Yeah. Um, you know what? I mean, I guess he chose the right school to go to because he sounds like a cock. But do you guys need any more material on this one? <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's do okay. one more. I can't reply to your tweet requesting roommate stories because I have people following me that know my former roommate. However, my freshman year of college, I walked into my room to find my roommate eating cat food out of the can. <laughs> No joke, my RA approached me after a room check one day and asked me if I was hiding a cat in my room. I knew exactly why she was asking. I told her my roommate was eating it. I don't know if this is the type of story you were looking for, but either way, love you guys. Okay, let's unpack this. Um, okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Like, was it like fancy feast? I mean, yeah. How much are they investing in themselves? Yeah, was it an organic? You also, know? straight out of the can. Yeah, I think I'm more disturbed that they went hobo style. Yeah. Like, put it in a bowl, heat it up, pretend it's chili. Also, was there any embarrassment? I would be fine if my roommate ate cat food. As long as, <laughs> that's a sentence I never thought I'd say. As long as they also had great oral hygiene. Yeah. Because I ain't trying to be talking to her and smelling sardines. No, also, was your roommate Alf? What's going oh, on? Good call. Yeah, because that's illegal. Also, that is a show I'd watch. Alf goes back to school. Oh, we just soft pitched a really great new show. And we look like a softball team, so it's perfect. Oh my God, that's the name of our team, Soft Pitch. Well, this was fun, and it makes me extra thankful for the roommates that I had. Well, absolutely, I think you guys are uh, really going through it. We wish you the best. If anything, just present these problems directly to the culprit's face. Yeah, I'm gonna say all of you guys are kind of passive aggressive, so you need to grow a pair and get in there. We just polarized an entire audience that supported us. That's what I'm best at. Today's gratitude problem comes from Julie14157, who made this incredible drawing that has just a little bit of everything from yeah. different episodes. This is like a This Might Get Vision Board. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, fave, share our show with everyone you know. I want this as a wallpaper. Only if you're a good roommate.